In this tutorial, I will explain how data rate, chip rate, symbol rate, chip duration, and symbol duration are calculated. Let's first start with the chip rate. The unit of bandwidth is Hertz, which is the number of vibrations or wave cycles per second. This bandwidth is interchangeably with chip rate. So the bandwidth is the same as the chip rate, and the chip rate is expressed in chips per second. For example, the bandwidth is 125 kilohertz, which is 125,000 hertz, so the bandwidth equals 125,000 chips per second. So the bandwidth is 125 kilohertz, which means it generates 125,000 chips per second. As I explained in tutorial 13, if the spreading factor is 9, the symbol carries 9 raw bits of information and the symbol holds 2 to the power SF equals 2 to the power of 9 equals 512 chips. If the spreading factor is 9, this symbol holds 512 chips. The symbol rate is calculated using this equation. We now know that the bandwidth is the same as the chip rate. So the equation can also be written this way. Here's an example. If the bandwidth is 125 kilohertz and the spreading factor is 7, then the symbol rate is 125,000 divided by 2 to the power of 7 equals 977 symbols per second. This represents a single symbol. The chip rate is always higher than the symbol rate. To calculate the data rate, abbreviated with dr, or bit rate, abbreviated with rb, you can use this equation. By the way, data rate and bit rate are the same. The bit rate equals the spreading factor. This represents the number of raw bits each symbol carries, times the number of symbols per second, times the coding rate. The coding rate calculates the actual number of bits which carries information. Here are some examples. If the spreading factor is 7 and the coding rate is 1, then these are the bit rates for different bandwidths. If you increase the bandwidth, the bit rate or data rate is increased. Another example, the bandwidth is 125 kHz and the coding rate is 1. These are the calculated data rates for different spreading factors. If you increase the spreading factor, the bit rate or data rate is decreased. Because the chip rate is the same as the bandwidth, the chip duration is calculated using this equation. For example, if the bandwidth is 125 kHz, the chip duration is 8 microseconds. The symbol duration or sweep time is calculated using this equation. So this is a symbol, and this is its symbol duration. Here is another symbol, and this is its symbol duration. For example, the spreading factor is 7. Here are different bandwidths and the corresponding calculated symbol durations. As you can see, if the bandwidth increases, the symbol duration decreases. Here's another example. The bandwidth is 125 kHz. Here are three different spreading factors and the calculated symbol durations. As you can see, if the spreading factor increases, the symbol duration also increases. Here's an overview of symbol durations with respect to different spreading factors. If the spreading factor increases by 1, the symbol duration doubles. If the spreading factor increases from spreading factor 7 to spreading factor 8, the symbol duration doubles from 1 to 2. Again, if the spreading factor increases by 1, spreading factor 8 to spreading factor 9, the symbol duration doubles from 2 to 4. If you increase the spreading factor by 1, the symbol duration or sweep time doubles compared to the previous spreading factor. It reduces the bit rate approximately by half compared to the previous spreading factor. The time on air, meaning the message transmission time, increases 
which means the distance increases. To give you an idea what the time on air is for a 10 byte payload, let's take bandwidth is 125 kHz. If the spreading factor is 7, the transmission time is 41 milliseconds. But if the spreading factor is 12, the transmission time is 991 milliseconds. LoRa devices uses a higher spreading factor when the signal is weak or there is a lot of interference. Using a higher spreading factor means a longer time on air. If an end device is further away from a gateway, the signal gets weaker and therefore needs a higher spreading factor. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.